are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. What's up, Black and White Sports fans? John Matrix here, and I am back with another video. All right, folks, check this out. We have the Make Sports Great Again shirt. This shirt is super clean, man. Really, really dope. I really do enjoy this shirt. You can also get it yourself. Just look at the description or check out the images below or to the upper right hand corner of this video. But let's jump into this, folks. Clemson coach Dabo Sweeney. He actually gave an opinion on Black Lives Matter or as we like to call here bigots, losers, Marxists. OK, now Dabo Sweeney, he's in a He's in really in a tough spot here. OK, he really is because. He's a head football coach and he has to recruit black football players to come to Clemson and Clemson, man, they're, they're an elite program. I believe that they're actually ranked number one uh, this year in the polls. They're super duper elite. He's a very, very great football coach, but we, but you, you already know that we have a bunch of players out there in college and in professional sports. You know, they want to go and protest have social justice messaging on the courts, on their um, on the football field too, also the helmets. Dabo Sweeney, he is not a fan of actually doing that. He's not on board with that, and he actually said that he's he believes Black Lives Matter, okay, but he doesn't believe in political organizations. So in other words, he doesn't agree with. Black Lives Matter, the organization, you know, the Marxist organization. He didn't come out and actually say that, but he said he's he is apolitical. He's not down with making sports political. OK, so this is what he actually said. He said, quote, it's not that I'm not for the messages, but I'm a very traditional guy. I am from Alabama. It's not anything to do with the messages. I've always just not messed with uniforms, but that's all changed this year. Close quote. And the reason why he was saying that is because the NCAA has allowed players to actually put SJW messaging on their jerseys. Now, college football, you know, they're going the same route as the NBA and also the NFL. I can only imagine how far the ratings are actually going to tank down. And depending on the school, if they're going to actually have, um, uh, fans in the stands, you know, we don't know what's going to happen with the national anthem for the most part, but I know that some um, teams have already played. Um, I haven't kept kept up too much with uh, college football, but uh, Clemson, I do believe they're about to start uh, playing here uh, shortly. Now, some players from Clemson already, including uh, Trevor Lawrence, you know, they've actually done some protesting already, you know, in the off season. That's perfectly OK. And Dabo Sweeney actually supports that. He actually wants his players to actually go out there and do these things because that is their right to do it. And I don't have a problem with that either. It just seems like Dabo Sweeney, which I agree with here, doesn't want this on the football field. He doesn't want to make football political. And that's the problem, you know, with Walt Sports right now. They want to make it political on the field. And that's a big problem, you know. And he's a very, very traditional guy. And he even said this, he said, quote, for our football team, this is America and everybody has the right to free speech. I don't judge somebody just because they don't think the way I think. I think that is one of the issues that we have. We don't want we don't have any tolerance or respect for differences of opinions, different views, views anyway. There is no one around here that supports a senseless death of any kind of racism, any Anything that is against the police or police brutality, nobody supports those things. Well, you know what? He's right about that. Nobody supports um, police brutality. Nobody does. Nobody um, is on board with, you know, senseless killings of people. But this whole defund the police, you know, um, abolish the police, BLM, it has all become politicized. And I do believe that. Dabo Sweeney knows that he absolutely knows that. And I agree with him, you know, that the messaging, the SJW messaging should not be on the football jerseys. It shouldn't. 
Now, Trevor Lawrence and all the uh, other players, you know, doing something, actually getting out there, protesting for whatever they want to believe in on their own time, I'm fine with that. Dabo Sweeney, he's fine with that also. You know, it doesn't seem like he actually agrees with all of that, but he allows his players to do that, you know, because that's their right to do it. Now, he actually said, though, if they want to put SJW messaging on their jerseys, he said that they have to vote on it and it has to be pretty much overwhelmingly majority or, or he said something like they have to be all in on it. Okay. So they have to be all in on actually voting on this and deciding what they want to do with their jerseys. So it seems like he's made his statement pretty clear that he is not on board with the messaging on jerseys, but it's going to be up to the players, but he doesn't agree with it. And I do believe that he's right on this. They're going to have to pay the price. You know, if they have fans in the stands, will they actually want to see the messaging on the jerseys on the field? I don't know actually how the field is actually going to work out because, you know, that's probably at a university level or also, you know, at a, at a conference level. I'm not really sure um, how that's actually going to work, but College football, you know, it's a little bit different, you know, when you have athletic directors, schools, conferences, and then you have the NCAA. So I don't know exactly how this is going to happen, but it doesn't seem like Dabo has much power in really kind of deciding what he wants to happen. He's made it clear he doesn't want the SJW messaging. He doesn't he doesn't want to politicize sports. But I think, man, he's going to have to cave in because he has to go into the homes of black athletes and try to recruit them. And if word gets out that he doesn't support BLM, it could be over. You know, the same with Nick Saban, I believe. I believe that Nick Saban isn't down with all his BLM garbage. But, you know, he has to say publicly that he supports BLM to keep recruiting. Because if he doesn't, it's going to be the end of his career pretty much, I believe. He won't be able to get black players to come to Clemson. Or in this case, you know, Alabama, since we were just talking about Nick Saban. So I believe that uh, Dabo Sweeney is really just trying to say what he wants to say about BLM. But he wants to make it known that he really doesn't support BLM, the organization. So he kind of really feels the way I believe that me and Rhodes feel about this whole BLM thing. You know, of course, Black Lives Matter. Everybody agrees with that, but the Marxist political organization, he is not down with that whatsoever. And he doesn't want to see any of those messages on the back of jerseys or helmets. Cause when you actually put that on your helmet, if you have black lives matter on the back of your helmet, you are endorsing the political organization. You are endorsing the Marxists. And that's something that the NBA has not learned. That's why nobody's watching the NBA And the NFL ratings are down, too, even though they're not as woke as the NBA. So Dabo, he's trying to make his message known that he doesn't really support all of this. And he's not down with Black Lives Matter. He's not down with that organization. Okay, but that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this Dabo Sweeney not really being down with Black Lives Matter or any type of messaging on the back of jerseys or uniforms. He's a traditionalist. You can do whatever you want on your own time, but when it comes to football, we just want to stick the football. That's what he's basically saying. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.